Digital cameras simply are amazing. I remember still taking pictures on, on film cameras not too many years ago. Yeah. But now with these, uh, you know, with the right memory card, you can take hundreds if not thousands of pictures. I was at an event the other day and I just started snapping pictures of random people uh, before my friends came because I wanted to make sure that I had all the settings right because it didn't matter how many shots I took. Well, the one downside of digital cameras is eventually you have to empty that digital memory card. And that usually means uh, either taking the uh, SD card out mm -hmm. and sticking it in the computer or hooking up all the cables. Mm -hmm. And I get lazy, I have to admit. So sometimes these pictures start stacking up to literally hundreds and hundreds of pictures. Well, we came across something amazing. And I do say this is amazing. We've tried it out. It's groundbreaking. Yeah, we're going to show you a demonstration here as well. This is an iFi card. Uh, this is their iFi share version. It's uh, two gigabytes. So uh, again, this works with pretty well every digital camera out there. But this thing also has built-in Wi-Fi as well, which is simply amazing. And that really is what we're going to be talking about today. I mean, this is an SD card. You put it in your camera, you take pictures on it. It's got an antenna built into it. It has the ability, just this little card here, to connect to your home network or your office network and share all that data that's on that card. It comes with this little USB uh, reader here. And you simply plug the card in to the side of your laptop or your desktop computer, wherever you want the, the pictures to go. And this is the first time. You only have to ever do this once, connect it to a computer to set it up. Right now, we've uh, got it hooked up to two wireless uh, networks. I've got the upload settings. I'll come back to that. Right now, I've got this uh, set up to send all the pictures that I'm taking going directly into my pictures folder on this particular laptop. I can also select web destinations as well. And so That's cool. If you've got a Flickr account or Facebook, and there's literally you know, a couple dozen different ones, you can have it set. So again, when you come back after taking pictures and you get into your Wi-Fi network zone, not only will it send the pictures to your laptop or your desktop, it'll also send them up to Facebook or Flickr. Which is brilliant because now you don't have to worry about attaching any cables or doing anything. You literally come into the house, turn the camera on, and they start transferring. We're going to stick it in this digital camera. And again, this works with pretty well all the digital cameras out on the market today, which is kind of cool. I think we'll go take some pictures to it. test this little guy out. Okay. Let's go. That was fun. Yeah, you're good at posing. <laughs> Okay, this is where the magic happens now. Uh, the second that I turn power onto the camera, it's gonna juice up the uh, iFi card, and that's going to start sending the photos. So I'm gonna turn the power on, and see right now, they're uh, loading in. I'm just gonna show you the uh, iFi manager here. We'll bring that up. This is the one you've uh, set up. So you can see here right now, this is uh, all the recent pictures that we've actually uh, we've taken. And uh, what's happening right now, it's actually updating this to Facebook as well, which is uh, nice because everyone uses social networking now. You want to be able to share these pictures. And it's so easy now because it's just all automatic. And approve selected photos. And presto kazinga, it's publishing that album up. And now my friends can see it. So again, you still got that privacy control. Your, your pictures aren't just getting thrown up there for everyone to see right away. But it's super simple. And you haven't had to connect any wires or even take out any film and put it in the camera. So if you want to find out more information, you got to check out their web page. It's uh, pretty cool, the, the things that this thing can do. It can also do geotagging. You can get the next version up, which will actually uh, then tag all your photos with the location that they were taking in. I like that idea because if you went on vacation so you were traveling in the south of France or something like that, it would literally try to figure out where it was by triangulating its position. And so again, you can actually take this card from camera to camera, which is kind of a nice feature as well. I wonder what they're going to build Wi-Fi into next. Well, we'll only find out soon, eh? Hmm. Let's check this out. Yeah.